Hello, hello. This week is getting a little bit crazy. I went to one of the richest city in China, but get locked as an ex-Chinese pro surfer trying to show me the best view in town. He made fun of me calling me as a homeless surfer because I didn't have anything surf related, but somehow still let me use his surfboard wax leash. The wax is orange. <laughs> and his girlfriend. <laughs> I got to hand out some interesting Chinese locals <laughs> and get to transform myself with their crazy electric cars. Like this sounds like a propaganda right now, but trust me, it is not. I got to surf some waves, but my whole body got attacked by jellyfish. Okay, see? It bite my whole arm. But they stung my eyes. That's crazy. It's going to be a chaotic film, so enjoy. <laughs> okay, remember last week they were joking that I am Reign of Goddess or something like that from California? <laughs> They're not lying. It is raining. I got bit, look. Not true. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> no, look, Guy was making fun of me that it never really happened to them, only to me. So I was joking around that maybe just because I'm from the other city. Why <laughs> did Okay, my butt is in pain. So let's try to go to 7 Eleven and buy like an ice drink. <laughs> Look at that! Ding, ding, ding. Wow, this is actually super cool. They have all the food selection here. Welcome to part two of surfing in one of the richest city in China. If you're missing part one, go back to last week. When Zai did win the surf competition last week and he got second place, it's like a lucky trip for me because I get to know Wen Zai. Therefore, I get to know his friend easily and people are more welcoming to me. I feel less like an outsider here. And they even invite me to eat lunch, so. Lucky me. Gumlady,你们先讲,还有冲完这个。这样,这样。你们先,哦,传一下是房,然后,然后,然后,然后,然后,然后,然后,然后,然后,然后,然后,然后,然后,然后,然后,然后,然后,然后,然后,然后,然
instead of charging it, they change the whole battery for it. So it only takes three to five minutes. So right now we're gonna recharge the car basically. You can feel a little movement, right? Can you feel it? Yeah. Ooh, oh, shaky. Oh my god, I think the battery just got out. <laughs> First time. <laughs> can you hear it? You can feel like the opening, the, the bottom of the car. It's ready. Let's go. So you go to like a station and then they kind of swap the battery for you automatically, kind of. This is the first time we've ever been here. Hey, Usually, if there's less people, I will able to just use a tripod and then shoot myself. But unfortunately, especially when I'm in one of the most busy city, it really helps when I have a filmer or have someone to help and look at the camera. Because a shot like that will take multiple time if I don't know if I'm in focus. We've been filming for like two hours now, <laughs> and I've been running like crazy. <laughs> I was lucky enough that my cousin actually lives in the city and then he has an employee that have time today so he's gonna help shooting but I felt really bad to be honest because I normally don't want family involved me pursuing content creation is not something my family is super proud of I honestly have no luck finding filmmaker in the village that I can afford since today is the last chance of sun I reach out to my cousin for help we are almost done. Right now we have one more spot to go. We are going to a library trying to get a last shot. But unfortunately we have a surfboard so they might not let us to go in. So hopefully they will let us sneak in a surfboard, right? Yeah, but there's lots of mosquito here. Currently I can only afford traveling alone. I usually cannot afford filmer even when I get to a location just because filmer are actually really expensive. Usually I just find a stranger that I met on the trip and then we'll ask them to help out. But instead, I would just help them to set up the camera. I scouted a library in a city that perfectly represents how young and new Shenzhen feels. This is the most insane library I have ever been to. I feel like I'm living within the books. The floors and walls are reflective, making you feel like you're in the matrix. <laughs> At first, I was kind of nervous where the library would keep me out for filming, and they were super chill about it. I do get a little bit nervous because all the attention is on me. So here's me trying to get the shot as quickly as possible without disturbing everyone else in the library. This is a behind the scene of making each YouTube episode. Wow! So many choices! But you always go to the same restaurant. First meal. <laughs> this is a traditional dish from the south. You can find niu nan fen, which is beef noodle soup, everywhere. <laughs> but honestly, I trust him on this. This might be one of the best one I had in a while. It's a perfect dish for a rainy day. This is our filmer of the day. <laughs> oh, is that sunscreen? Oh, how shiny! I met Shasha in the second episode of the Hainan trip. She was the first girl to peel shrimp for me within less than 10 minutes of meeting. And after that, I felt like I automatically became her girlfriend. <laughs> So you show we just set up the tripod, and he put the camera to all the movements for me. The shooting director, and then I will go from here to the front to shoot him. You okay? I'm okay. Do you want to go to the toilet? I don't need. Thank you. Return to the nature. I just like this kind of thing. You set up and then start. Okay.
We kept in touch even after I left the island, and today she's coming to give me a ride home, which is crazy. It's like three hours drive. I love you, Shasha. Thank you for taking care of me, even though we are not living together. My mother often warns me about how many bad people there are in the world, but I was lucky enough that on this China trip, I met so many warm-hearted people. Honestly, I don't recommend being as spontaneous as I am. No planning at all most of the time. I am truly playing with luck. But I'm grateful that wherever I go, I somehow always end up with the kindest people. Okay, look at this. This is from yesterday. For today, I have some new additions. I think I need to go home. <laughs> My body is destroyed by jellyfish things. I am very allergic. <laughs> Not gonna show you my whole body or I might get bent. The reaction is getting worse and you can tell the weights are getting smaller as well. I truly love this town and would love to come back in the winter. But it's one of the most expensive surf towns I have been to in China. I will need to plan better next time before I come. For now, I am lucky my friends here to give me a ride home and I'm definitely taking that shivoncha. <laughs> Ooh, I am so itchy. If you have been following since the first episode, thank you so much for being on this adventure with me. It makes me feel less lonely. And let me know where I should go next. I'm <laughs> 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 